Yeah. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Webinar Wednesday with URG. I um, want to introduce that we have Parts Trader with us today. We have Eric and Dave, and they will be presenting on Parts Trader and giving you guys a bunch of information on that and what we can do with uh, the integration. Um, just a little bit about URG. We are helping today's recycle recyclers with cutting edge technology and getting towards having more sleek integration with different tools that can help you grow with your business. Um, URG provides that edge with access to unique portfolio of business tools, innovative technology, data protection, training, operational support, and more designed by recyclers for recyclers. So teaming up with URG means not only access to the tools you need to succeed as a member, you can connect your business with the best of the best. URG members and partners represent the gold standard in recycling industry and maintain the highest level of quality and integrity in their practices. So with that, I'm going to hand over to Eric and he will present on Parts Trader. Thank you, Amanda. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for taking some time to join the webinar today. Uh, what we put together for you is basically a high-level view of Parts Trader, uh, a little bit about the history and the overview, uh, the base benefits and the marketplace process, what the opportunity is and how you can access it, URG inventory integrations and the auto quote with review feature, and then if some of uh, growing your presence on Parts Trader. So if you do have any questions, feel free to use the Q&A tab and you can go ahead and type those in and we'll, we'll try to answer as many as possible throughout the webinar and then at the end if we have time as well. Uh, so as far as a brief history, uh, Parts Trader launched in New Zealand in 2004, and today there's roughly 87% market share within the collision market. It's just how business is done on collision repairs in New Zealand. Um, Parts Trader ownership is privately equity funded, uh, long-term New Zealand investors. Um, so despite you know what many believe, uh, we are not owned by State Farm and never have been. Uh, State Farm is our first customer, so to speak, as far as our first insurance mandate. We had a national deployment, which was completed in April of 2014. Uh, Hartford Insurance had an insurance mandate deployed and completed at the end of 2018. Um, so Park, Park, Parts Trader is basically, it's a competitive marketplace. There's over 10,500 active collision repair shops using Parts Trader and over 9,600 active suppliers who are on that market space. Uh, Parts Trader is type in supplier agnostic. What we do is we enable streamlined part search and compare for the collision shops. We enable insurers and repairers to consider all part types. Uh, we have a dynamic quoting opportunity, putting you in front of new opportunities. And Parts Trader provides transparency of the process for all parties involved, suppliers, collision shops, and insurers. Some of the base benefits, so Parts Trader delivers thousands of full insurance estimates every day and suppliers that quote, sell. Uh, always see the entire estimate, the entire insurance estimate. It's not what the repairer decides to share with you and it gives you the opportunity to earn a greater share of that insurance estimate. Um, and also we touched on it, there's also insurer visibility into that process. You get quote requests from repairers who would, you would not normally see. Collision shops are using Parts Trader beyond, Hartford, uh, beyond State Farm and Hartford on a daily basis, and suppliers that respond to quote requests sell more. 20% or higher quote risk rate captured over 75% of the orders. Parts Trader allows you to expand geographic coverage without field sales force expense. Uh, there's no marketing investment required. Easily see new repairs and you can expand quickly or slowly based on your business needs. So how the Parts Trader marketplace process works. So step one, a collision shop will create a repair estimate in an estimating platform and import it into Parts Trader. The collision shop then sends out the estimate to suppliers covering the area for quote responses. The suppliers have the opportunity to review the entire request, all parts, um, and they respond with a price, part type, and delivery time. The collision shop then reviews the responses and choose, chooses which parts to order. The supplier confirms the order price and delivery, ships parts to the shop, and invoices the collision shop. And the customer, uh, I'm sorry, collision shop updates the repair estimate with a bi-directional integration, and all that's wrapped around feedback and ratings, so suppliers and, and uh, repairers can leave feedback on each other on their experience within the platform. Just as a, a quick little recap, uh, looking at 2018 performance numbers, specific to the recycled community, there's over 400 recyclers that have participated in Parts Trader in 2018, 
we delivered over 22 million quote requests to them. There were 750,000 confirmed orders. Over $125 million of recycled parts were sold, which averages out to about a $250 average sale. You'll hear this often throughout the webinar, recyclers that quote more sell more. It really is that simple. If you look at some of the breakdown from 2018, um, looking at the quote rate on the far left, we broke it down to suppliers who quoted less than 10%, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, or greater than 30%. As you can see, the suppliers that quoted over 20% secured 75% of the orders. Um, it's a pretty shocking number once we were able to look at it. There's not much that changes as far as order close rates or average sales. Um, one number that also stands out is the per quote ROI. Basically what that shows is for every quote that you submit within Parts Trader, it generates $29 to, uh, to $62 for every quote generated. So it, it definitely pays just to be competitive and send out quote requests into the market. We know that some people on the, on the webinar may, uh, may not be on Parts Trader today. So we wanted to share a quick overview of what the dashboard looks like. So the company dashboard is what you see on the screen now. Uh, all the tabs on the top work from left to right. So all the quotes that come in from the shops will come in under your quotes requested tab. Those are all the jobs and all the parts that shops are looking for. Once you've submitted a quote, it would move over to quote submitted. Any incoming orders come in on that third tab. And once you confirm the order, it would be on that fourth tab. The quote request, once you drill into it, has all the information on the very top, has a car uh, that they're looking to get parts for, complete with the VIN number, has the repair information, the insurance, the delivery date of the parts, where the part was damaged, and some additional vehicle information. Um, all the parts that are listed on that are the parts that are being required for that, uh, for that job. So this is where you would go in, you would select the part type that you're quoting, put in the shop, uh, the price that you're gonna get to the shop, along with the delivery ETA. So up until, um, Inventory integration was a pretty manual process, but now we have some in, uh, inventory integration and options. Uh, URG has one that we just started working with. So basically what happens, it allows your uh, matching of your inventory and your trading partner's inventory with integration back to Parts Trader. So that same quote request that we just showed you, um, with an inventory integration, when you open it up, if you have parts that are uh, match the parts being requested, they'll populate on that screen for you and all you have to do is click the add button to add them to the quote. So it's a much uh, faster and streamlined process. We also have the ability to auto quote with a review functionality. So this is the dashboard, um, again, with a supplier who has enabled uh, review. So instead of the quotes coming in on that quotes requested tab, you notice that that has a zero and all the quotes go directly into quotes submitted and there's a, uh, a marker there that says pending review. So pending review shows you all the jobs that had been auto quoted and it shows you how many parts on those jobs have been, have been matched. So you have the opportunity to go into that job and review it. As you can see, the part has already been added to the quote. So you can go in there, you can still adjust price, you can adjust the delivery ETA, you can even remove it or add other parts to that quote request if you wanted to. If you don't touch it, it goes off to the shop as is and that part has been quoted. So again, going back to the recyclers that quote more, sell more. So the best way to maintain a presence on Parts Trader and continue to grow your market share is to quote as many orders as you possibly can. Because again, over 75% of the orders went to suppliers that quote 20% or greater. I'm gonna pass it back to Kristen now to go over some of the URG integration setup options. Everyone. So like Eric said, um, you are able to do an integration through our U URG. Uh, if you are a member, it is free for all of those uh, members. And then the only thing you have to do is be set up through Parts Trader already and let us know. Um, so you just have to reach out to us, tell us that you want to be um, integrated with Parts Trader. And we will send you an approval email that you just respond to proof. And then we go in to the URG data feed. As you can see here, this is what it would look like. And then we would just enable this data feed, as you see here, to activate your parts trader. 
Um, so the next thing we would do is we go into your tier settings. For those of you who are not familiar with tier settings, you can reach out to Amanda and I to get that set up. That's just where you tier other yards data as your own. Um, and this is applicable for Park Trader as well as CCC. Uh, so as you can see right here, it's going to be in the top left-hand corner of this tier setting screen. Um, you can choose the quantity return port per part. Um, it defaults to 10, um, but as part trader will say, they recommend one to three just because the more, the more parts you're choosing, um, you know, you may not be getting all of your parts on there. You may have some of your tier yards on there as well. So you want to get your parts first. Um, and here you can see that sort of it says tier yard results order so you can do a condition priority or you can do a condition lowest price um, so this is where you can choose whether or not you want your data to show up first or if you want the lowest price to show up first um, in those quotes um, you can also choose markups for your own parts and you can also select the delivery days um, so you would just go in here and click save settings and then all of those settings would um, reciprocate to parts trader um, so it's simple as that. Like I said, it's a free integration for URG members as long as you're activated with Parts Trader. If you have any questions for us, you can definitely reach out. But I'm going to pass you back to Eric to go back through everything else. Thank you. Um, so one of the things worth pointing out, if you're not currently on Parts Trader today, we do have a new process in place that we can streamline that process. We can work directly with URG to get the inventory integration set up. And we can actually have you turned on to auto quoting before um, you even sign up, for, sign in the first time into Parts Trader. So with auto quoting also, it allows you to basically take your inventory, match it to the request within your market without having to do any of the manual work that you may have had to do in the past. Uh, we do have quite a few recyclers both on uh, the URG integration and we did get a testimonial from Bessler. Um, Adam, sales manager at Bessler, has said that Parts Trader has proven to be an excellent sales channel, allowing us to earn the business of collision shops and specific insurance estimate that we not that we might not normally see. Coupled with the new URG inventory integration, matching and quoting service has helped us improve our efficiency, consistency, and accuracy of the parts and prices that we provide to collision shops. Because of these enhancements, we also believe that our customer service has improved as it relates to part accuracy, shipping times, and reduced returns. So I'll take a quick second to stop now, um, see if there's any questions that we can add that haven't been answered through the webinar. It doesn't look like we have any. Uh, again, if you do have any questions, feel free to put them into the Q&A section and we'll touch on them at the end. Um, One other thing that we want to share is, is some of our opportunities to grow your presence within Parts Trader. Um, so again, if you have a Parts Trader screen, you've been on there, you've seen that there's some space on the right-hand side uh, that was previously blank, and now there's some uh, digital advertising opportunities. So the biggest thing is no one can match our numbers. There's over, in total, over 20,000 users of collision shops and parts sellers. Um, we have some targeting email marketing available as well. There's over 20, uh, two, uh, 280,000 unique monthly users. Each user sends, uses, spends an average of 10 minutes per session. Uh, we have some targeting options. So you can target your geographic, local, national, uh, specific to collision shops or part sellers. And there's over 3 million user sessions per month. Um, so this is what the dashboard looks like from the shop side. Again, very similar, but this is where they are every single day. All the jobs that are sending out for quote requests, they're reviewing them, their responses, they're selecting parts and they're ordering parts. So on the right-hand side where you see that parts, parts trader banner ad could be an, advertise, an advertisement for your yard to reach more customers and get in front of um, your existing customer base. There are a few examples of some of the uh, ads that we currently have going on parts trader. So we have some recyclers, we have aftermarket, there's some OEMs uh, and even manufacturers have jumped on board. Uh, so we do have a couple questions uh, we'll go through. Uh, first question that we had is, does the integration automatically quote the parts or does it help someone quote the parts? Uh, so the answer is actually both. There's a couple different options. Um, you can do a, a, an auto quote, whereas if you do not touch anything, it will actually go off to the shop with your matching inventory. 
There's also a pending review tab where you can go in there and you can scrub that. You can have a human uh, element to it and they can scrub that. They can adjust pricing um, or you can just leave it alone. It will go off to the shop as is. Any jobs that you do not have quotes, they will still respond to the shop with an unable to supply. So it, it's better to send the shop an unable to supply versus ignoring the quote at all. Because um, from the shop's standpoint, they see that you actually reviewed it and were able to uh, check on that part and see if you had it. Uh, the other question uh, is going to be for the URG side. They see a drop down with a yes or no for markup. Um, how do they make a markup and where do they enter that percentage? So that goes back to your tier setting. If you do want to do that markup, uh, we can definitely help you out with that. You just have to give us a call and tell us kind of what markups you want to do for what types, and we can definitely go in and do that for you. Um, so that, that's something you should be able to do in your tier settings. Again, same, same spot. Are there any other questions? Uh, so how does the integration work with a brokered part? Um, so within URG, you set up your tiered partners. So you have the option of quoting their inventory or just quoting your own inventory. Um, if you do have tier partners set up and you do not have a part in stock, you will receive that, uh, the, the integration will auto quote your tiering partner. And if it converts to an order, you will receive that order and you'd have to process the order and broker the part on your end. The next question is, when the orders come through, do the orders go to a salesman or are they assigned to each shop and does it go out to everyone on that yard? Um, so there are a couple different settings that you can set up. So you can assign salesmen to specific accounts through the watch list. Um, so every, every user that has a login to PartsTrader can see the company dashboard and all the jobs that come through. But you do have the option if you want to assign a certain shop um, to a certain sales rep. Now with the integration and with AutoQuote, all of that is done for you. So it would still go into their watch list and they can review the, the ones that are applicable to them. So Sam, I'm not sure of the question. It says, so it just pops up in our work order manager. Um, I'll put up some contact information at the end. Feel free to give me a call. Uh, we're happy to go through it with you in some further detail. Uh, the next question says, uh, in reviewing an order, I don't have an option to unable to supply, only delete quote. Um, unable to supply would be done within the quoting portion, not the order. Um, so on the bottom of the screen, if you don't have any parts available, there should be a submit unable to supply button. So Laura, Laura your question, does the integration cost anything to the parts recycler? Um, so Part of a member benefit of being a URG um, recycler is that there is no cost for the integration. Um, so if that, that is something you're interested in, again, please contact us. We'd be happy to get it going for you. Uh, yes, Sam. So Sam's question, so someone has to use part trade to complete the part trade order. Uh, yes, so the auto quoting can be done manually. But there's still, when you do receive an order, that order has to be processed, has to be confirmed within Parts Trader. And then you also have to process that order on your end within your uh, system and, and, and send those parts out to the shop. So, yes, uh, the, Vito is asking another question about the markups. Um, we, will, we will give you a call here in a little bit and we'll get that all figured out for you. We'll get the tier settings set up. So it's super easy for us to just do it on our end. So no worries, we'll contact you. How long to enable the integration once it's been requested? Um, the process has been taking roughly one to two days. Um, once we get that going back and forth, we can get it turned on on our end pretty quickly. It's just a matter of authorizing uh, the data feed, setting up your tiers, uh, and again, making sure your part trader account is, is, is active and accepting quotes. Uh, uh, Laura, I'm gonna switch to the next page that has the contacts on there. Uh, please feel free to contact myself directly, uh, Dave, our national supplier manager, or URG directly as well. Um, we can get that going for you.
And if you have any questions, our phone number is not on here, but my direct contact for Amanda is 512-887-3951. And like I said, we're going to be posting this on YouTube as well, so you can get all of our contact information off of there as well. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we don't have any more questions. Again, this will be posted on YouTube. So if you want to listen to the pictures that we have posted, um, we can see it there. Um, we just want to thank our chair one more time for getting up today and answering all the questions that everybody's had. And again, thank you for the opportunity for Thank you guys for joining us.